Father and what he requires of Israel is to believe on him whom he have sent. <laughs> See? So believing and having faith is actually commanded by Yahweh Bashem and Hawashah. See? This is the book of Romans, the third chapter. And starting at the 23rd verse, it says, For all, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High. Yeah, when the scriptures say, For all have sinned, well, that word all means exactly what it says. Meaning there is not one individual here on the planet Earth that can make the claim that they're perfect in the flesh. See, again, it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yehoshua. And this proves that our Lord Yehoshua is to be reverenced and worshipped, seeing that he serves as the mediator, the intercessor, and ultimately the redeemer of the nation of Israel. See, again, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yehoshua. So again, our Lord Yehoshua is the entity that has bridged these two parties together, being the Heavenly Father and the children of Israel. See, verse 25, whom the Most High have set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. Yeah, let's read this again. It says, whom the Most High have set forth to be a propitiation, which when you go into this word propitiation, it pretty much translates to peacemaker, you know, as touching one who reconciles him.